plaintiff Albert Ciccatini says he and the defendant were classmates, and while they were both surfing one day, they had a verbal altercation. Two weeks later, Albert claims his car was vandalized, and he believes the defendant was responsible, so he's suing for the damages. Defendant Todd Endres says the reason he had a verbal altercation with Albert was because he was being disrespectful while surfing. Todd admits that he vandalized Albert's vehicle, but claims it was only after he witnessed Albert letting the air out of his tires. Prove your case. Um, I had tossed Todd in a class uh, last semester, and that's how I know him. And uh, You taught the class? No, I had him in, like, we were, we were both in a class together. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And uh, around the end of April, we were both surfing at Marina State Beach, which is in California. It was really small, and the waves weren't that good, and we were all riding shortboards and stuff. And Todd came over, and he was riding, like, a longboard, which is, makes it, you know, a lot easier to catch waves and whatnot. So he caught, he caught a bunch of set waves and just came right into the pack and started catching all the waves and stuff. So I thought it was pretty disrespectful. So um, about after the fifth set wave he caught or whatever, I was just like, well, do you always ride that yellow board, Todd? Just trying to, you know, just joking around because I knew him. I thought, you know, we were buddies. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and he's just like, do you even surf? And I was like, all right. <laughs> so I'll be, I, I, mean, I, I guess I don't. I'm out in the water. But um, another wave came through, and me and the six other guys that are out in the water, we were all groveling for it. You know, it was super small, and we all had shortboards, and it was really hard to catch. And none of us got it. And Todd came back out, and he's like, you talk a lot of trash, but you can't even catch a wave. So I was, uh, I mean, I was like, who's talking trash? Like, if, if I had a seven-foot longboard, you know, I'd, I'd be catching that wave too, you know? It's just the conditions that day weren't prime for what we so were all this to started with. over competition over who could catch a wave on the surfboard. Not not necessarily. It was more of like a respect type of thing, you know. I oh, mean, okay. First, he disrespected you by and, and like six other guys interfering and, with your wave. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, <laughs> I guess you know, it wasn't even that big of a deal to me. You know, I just he he went in, he left after that, and um, about two weeks later, um, I leave the parking lot in front of my dorm with my girlfriend Erin. And um, about five minutes later, I get a phone call from my friends. And they're like, uh, your license plate's messed up on your truck. And I was like, what are you talking about? I, ju I just saw it because it's parked right in front of my mm -hmm. dorm. You know, I walked out and everything was fine. And so uh, I turn around, come back, and call the cops. He's asking me questions, and he tells me that he needs to file a police report, yada, yada, yada. And uh, he's like, is there anybody you think that you know that would do this? And I mean, to me, I, di I didn't even think of anybody because I at mean, some point you found out it was him. Is yeah, that what my you're girlfriend saying? actually um, thought. Well, what about that guy? You know, I mean, this come is on up. If she wants to talk. State your name. My name is Erin Claire. What do you want to tell me? I remember that he had come over to my house and said that he and Todd had gotten into their little quarrel. So you thought maybe it had been him? Yeah, because mm -hmm. AJ's a very like well liked guy at our school. Anyone that understands his sense of humor would not really take anything personally. See, so how did you determine it was him? Um, what we did, our, our, our school has this home server with all the names listed. So mm -hmm. I found out what his last name was, and I emailed that to the officer that was handling they the case. They won't tell me. Sorry, what do you tell me? What, what makes them think that you did it? Well, I admitted to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> see how easy that was? You see how? Easy that was. <laughs> Lord have mercy. They going all around the track, and we think I remembered he did this, and, and I assumed it might have been. And he admitted it. Why do you just say, Judge? He admitted to doing it. You admitted it. I admitted it. All right. Why'd you do it, number one? And what happened? Well, first of all, his story is a little skewed. It didn't happen. Our argument didn't happen two weeks before. It happened the day before. Uh, we got into a little argument, and uh, the over next the day, what? Yeah, over, over, who's over the it waves? was pretty much just like he he told you. All it, right. Except that he knows the unwritten rules of surfing, and you bring six people out to the same peak, and that that's like frowned upon, and nobody likes that. You don't catch as many waves. Everybody, you know, it's it sounds it's logical. Kind of, yeah. Um, so I left the next day. I was surfing out there by myself, and I looked up to the parking lot, and I watched his truck pull into the parking lot, and his truck is unmistakable because it's the exact same model, exact same year, with the exact same camper shell, except his is black and mine is red, my truck. And so I knew it was him. I watched him get out of his car and go up to my car and kneel down. And, I, and that's the most I could see because the water where I was surfing uh, is a lot lower. Judge Mathis will be right back. And coming up, Mathis. Defendant Todd Endress admits that he vandalized the plaintiff's car, but insists it was only after he witnessed the plaintiff letting the air out of his tires. Why'd that make you vandalize the man's car? You have it, the estimate? 
because I saw him flatten my tire. I watched him do it. He put a pebble in the in the valve and screwed the cap on, so it let all the air out of my left front tire. So I I had missed. Did you class. approach him while he was doing that? No, I came up like a half hour later. I, I don't no, understand. I watched him go up to my car, but I didn't like I couldn't see him. Like you can't see below waist level. So if he goes down and like twists the cap on and puts a pebble, so, in, I can't if, see. If him. someone you've just argued with goes down next to your car, you know they're doing something to your car, sir. I you should really, say, I really the think... guy walked, I just argued with him. He's walking right next to my car. Now he's bending down. I don't see him any longer. You know what? I think I need to go check it out to see what he's doing. Never occurred to you, huh? Looking, looking back on it, I probably should have gone right up there, but gotcha. I was having fun. You wouldn't just want to speak. Uh, do you want to speak? Yeah, I think you should. You should have seen that. But wave we're not to that point there. of the story yet. You, say you should have seen that wave coming in. <laughs> we're not, we're got... not to that point of the story where he needs to speak, though. So he. So Sir. I, I, sh I got Sir, out of the water a half hour later. Let me inform later. you that we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No one and two, fine. You heard the term hang ten, right? You, you know how to hang ten? <laughs> I could do that. Huh? Yeah. You know how to hang ten on the surf? That's a surfing term, hang ten. We're going to hang ten 73 times today. <laughs> What's that? So hang I, ten 73 times at $730? Like, that's what you're asking for, right? Yeah. And I think that's a wipeout. <laughs> <laughs> Judgment for the plane of $730. Have a good day. He said I came back the next day. Very next, I can only surf every other day. Tuesday, Thursdays are my free mornings. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have class all morning. So I don't know how I ditched class and went there and flattened his tires. You don't know but... how you ditched class? <laughs> I check, check my attendance. I never miss classes, man. I'm, I'm at school to learn not to surf and destroy people's license plates. Yeah, I'm almost graduated. I surf every day. So. You're lucky.